get the jack on the shot. Uh, good morning, everyone, and welcome here on Service and, and one, on World of Service and Gym from my Alex and Alex behind the camera. It's very exciting sometimes, you know, having a, a, a rush to talk. I can say a side stripe and one shot. It's amazing. We just organized for a special opening right here. It's a lot of morning. So overcast and lines look like busy there. The buffalo kills happened like two days ago. And we were trying to come here and it didn't work that much. So enjoy this line and we'll be here. Welcome back to vehicle. Uh, we have a lot of network here. It's not that much perfect. As you can see here, the full radio line walk is ground. It's heavy. You can see there. The street line already that the The fourth one is, as you can see, is going down. Maybe it's still just Definitely has to do that. It's very full. It's to help put me into every stomach. The digestive of the is a lot more active if it's having a food. Lying the gauge themselves. The reason of that, it has to move. They have big areas to operate. Checking territory for the male if they enter. Looking for female in our surroundings. It's a very good morning. As I like to say most of the time, Walala Wasan. Here's a wonderful sighting here. You can see it was very far. We are right at the boundary. Sighting is about like 250 meters away from us. But still enjoying a yeah, very good sight. Uh, it's bearing all the information. It was pocketing right there and bearing because it's, it's really smells. It smells very bad. Eh? Blood and everything. Eh? So the line where they do, they cover that information. It attracts a lot of uh, species as far as hyena, wild dog because of this, I mean, vultures because of the smell. Well, hello everyone. Uh, it's uh, Wild Earth and uh, one of our more spectacular sightings, I think, this morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Unfortunately, um, as you've gathered, the um, signal is very poor where we are at the moment. Of course, the lions have chosen to, to sit in a bad signal area. Um, but uh, we're going to stay with it. So I'm just making the decision to uh, stay with the bad, bad signal, bad sound. Because I think you'd rather see it than not see it, to be quite honest. Um, Rexon's going to try and move the vehicle in a minute so we get slightly better signal and we'll just, we'll just move around. But uh, I think this is wonderful and I think you'd rather I didn't cut away something else. 
So uh, stay with us, and we will try and improve as we go along. I do apologise about the technical quality, but uh, as I say, I think the actual subject matter transcends that at the moment. Anyway, um, Sue in the final control centre, and we're going back to Wrexham in a few minutes. Um, we'll stay with the pictures. Oh, I just want to change a little bit uh, our position. Look like um, network is holding that, but if I can just do like that, the vehicle might a very good uh, network. Inside the first. These are Mopojo males. I call them serial killers. They're well known around in Savicent. Savicent is about 65,000 hectares. They cross the area called Saint, Saint River. Heading straight south of the service end, I don't know how much they travel there, but they cover such a very good distance. Each and every guide in service end that will tell you about the Mopoko Mills. South and the north of service end, they're well known. These guys have been around here at least now nearly for yeah, close to a year. We're in the area where we are, but they've been here like two years, maybe more than that, down south. Look at him here going down there. He's going to join the rest. Look, they will be busy eating. Maybe today, by afternoon, they might have left the sighting here and going somewhere. But they won't travel that much because they're full. It could be a matter of going, sleeping. It will take a while. Look at them. Mr. T is down there. You can see from here. His mane is not that much perfect. Is the line that's lying down at the stage, and the other one looks like he's gonna try to settle down there. Boof. <laughs> but Mr. T is well known by the name Saturn. Oh, look at that. It's a vulture, a hooded vulture. It's more like in dry trees. And it's one of the vulture that uh, most of the time it prefers to eat pieces of meat and it can it can get between the bones, ribs, or if it's a crash bone you can really go for mirror inside. It can eat that. Beautiful. The, um, the jackal we saw earlier, can you tell me what the jackal was doing? He was trying to pick some pieces of meat on the ground inside the south striped jackal. He might be still there and he will be, yeah, he, can, he might be around there waiting. Moving around here, yeah, collecting.
picking small pieces of meat that might be dropped by lions on the ground. So for the morning, it looked like uh, it's very, very cold for me. We're still gonna warm, uh, I'm freezing cold. But I know this will be here for a while and check the lions if they can get to move around them. Maybe we can go a little bit high ground. We might get to see them lying down there. Some of those vultures you can see there because the lions what they do they eat and drag the meat. Wherever the meat has been dragged it could be small pieces of meat that have been dropped down. So what they the hunting that on the ground and picking all those pieces because the lions are not going to move now on the buffalo kill. They might be stay there until the meat gets to be finished. Then they can start to move on, heading to wherever they want to go. This is one of the pride that are looking for females, mainly into the area. As you can see, male lions that can hunt themselves, there's that they doesn't have female. I mean, accompanying this pride of uh, males. They all four together. The other two might be down straight south because they were seen around south for a week ago and some of the males that were mating it could be the two strong males that they were mating down south maybe later on these guys if you start to vocalize they'll go and join with them there's no other way that they can live without a, a fifth male always with them they might thinking oh it's a time now to go and join him and check the males there with it a problem or not. If they really have a problem, what they're going to do, but I don't think they'll have problem yet because they have killed a lot of young males, they've killed a lot of females, both sides, south and north. So all the males, they know that if you head down on those areas, you're asking yourself a big problem. So that they rather stay away. And also from the scent mark, the communication that they've been uh, putting around, lying down on the ground, trees, you display that really uh, these males are six coercion, strong males, they're healthy, so there's no male that can challenge them. Unless if seven males come into the area, feel like they're stronger than them, they can challenge the fight. Look at these two vultures there, where the sun comes from, but uh, directly is in the wrong direction. But it might be a very good shot. It look like a little bit more silhouetted. The, I like sol soloated shot. It's a lovely shot, cool shot. You get there? Those are the cape vultures. It could be the combination of cape vultures, but I can disagree with that. It could be the white back vulture. But when I see it from the beginning, it looked like the other one more to the left. It might be a cape vulture. But the distance is a lot more slow that you can't see that exactly. It's amazing with these cave vultures are coming from way down in high ground. If it's a kill here, immediately they will be into the area. And you wonder how they can able to spot a dead cow. Or how can they communicate with the vultures like three, four hundred meters, four hundred kilometers away. And they can able to come straight right here if it's a big kill. As far as buffalo elephant. You tend to see them a lot of curve vulture getting in into the area. Um, people said they more into uh, Drunkersberg Mountain, furthermore into Mahalisberg. I really guarantee. I know Mahalisberg is about like three, four hundred meters away from us. Papachos. Mopojos, Mopojo, the name of Mopojo is derived from the security company in South Africa that's formed by people that are suffer from people that um, don't have respect to other properties or anything, stealing. So if they catch you, Mopojo, Mopojo security, they beat you until you die. Same, they're given this name because they kill a lot of lions. Look at there, the side striped jackal. Is chowing on the piece of meat that the lion have been dropping on the ground. I said, uh, as I said, 
He will be hunting small pieces that we drop a line on the ground itself. This is the best sighting we ever had with a side strike. Cool, it's a cool sighting. Side strike I call most of the time is unrelaxed species. Tend to see vehicle run away. As you can see, end of the tail is more white. Is how can you sex black and white? Uh, black and side strike. Uh, black back jackal doesn't have a tail that's white at the tip of the tail. It's more like golden color on the side, more on the back is one back. Oh, he's grabbing me, check to the left. He's having a piece of meat, he's running away. Check that, it's a tail. Uh, he's lucky, boy. Scavengers, scavenging from the lines, as you can see, jackals, vultures are here. Mm. We're right at the dam, it's, it's freezing cold here, South Africa, but this time of the year, it's very, very cold. It's amazing when I, when we come here this time and we're able to drive towards the gate. The gate is not far from here, the exit gate of some sand is not far from here. The guys told us at 8 o'clock at night, two days ago. But for these lions, I mean, to kill a buffalo in the open like this is amazing. You can see main power. It's, it's there for the buffalo, for the lions itself. Most of the time, buffalo, it can fight. If it's more open like this, it tends to be like um, a mission to bring a buffalo because he was not alone. Quite a lot of buffalo that were here. And how they managed to kill a buffalo in the open like this where the other buffalo they can stand and fight. Look more, look more to the right, is Johnny. Mr. T. Saturn. They call him Saturn. Look at there. He's trying to charge off <laughs> the vultures. The name Saturn is like now guarantee. He's exercising his evil. The guys that know this pride well. The reason why they call him Saturn is the one that all, all the time, if it's a fight, it's a challenge, he's the one that will lead, the one that will carry uh, pride as he to go and do something. Most of the time, he's likely, he'll be the one that will be running us and go there. And he'll be the one that will really uh, start. So they call have patient to other lines could be female it doesn't matter he's going to kill it and uh, you can understand why it's like that if you look at him oh man do it again boy if you look at to him he doesn't have that man a big man he's manless and that female don't like him at all so he's having that resistance that he's not able to mate yet and he's supposed to mate the, on that edge, but because it's a manless lion so it tend to, it can define a lot of half on the line is not good itself but the, more interested on the male lion that is having a mane black man long but it shows healthy if you look at the, all the lines that are there they have a very long male mane and they're looking if you look at him, it could be like it's a matter of uh, his maleness. So, female all the time is not 
they were not ready to mate with him because of that man. So what's going to happen to him all the time if he come across with anything else they'll be like really really mad. Believe it could be the one that will live longer for the, all these men lions that are here. If you're not able to wait, you will able to live longer. It will be a time where you have a turn of mating, I believe. But all these lions have mated to females before. I believe he's reserving a lot of energy. One day, he's going to use that energy. If you look at the line, what they're doing there, the inst could be anything that can attract all. The line was just bearing all the information. He's bearing information, the inside and everything there, covered with sand that must uh, attract of vultures, but attracting vultures if it's other pride in the area which are stronger than them, they can check <laughs> them in, look at the vulture where they live, and they can run straight, they know it's to be uh, a meat. So, most of the time information by digging like that way putting sand on top of the inside of the each and any mother they kill which it won't attract a lot of predators This is a perfect spot for them. Water. And lie down. Especially early in the morning. This lion prefers such a very cold weather. I believe they're going to stay here for a while. Soon it's getting hot into the area. And seeing shade for themselves. Lying down. So it could be chances for the vulture today. It could go hot. Because the line with the full like that burns a lot of energy, heat burns a lot of energy on the body of the lines. There might be lines. Well, hello again, everyone. Uh, apologies for cutting away from that magnificent sighting very briefly. Um, we're trying to position, or Rex is trying to position himself a bit better so that we can actually uh, see this fantastic um, sighting uh, without any interference or with less interference. Um, unfortunately, uh, the sighting is right in the middle of a, a very bad signal area. So we're just kind of going around the area and seeing if we can... Um, pitch up somewhere a little bit better so you can see and hear it a bit better um, at the moment we're at Gowrie but we will cut back to them very very quickly as soon as they've um, parked up and uh, got a better picture for us hopefully I will try to stay with the pictures even if they are a little bit uh, degraded from what we normally have um, but I think you'll appreciate why it is a bit of a one-off sighting this um, please do stay with us we're uh, trying to uh, make things better for you Anyway, um, let's join Rexon very shortly.